people are quite fussy about their apps. You know, everyone's used to them. Everyone's got quite strong opinions on them. They're used to a very high level of quality. They'll have their Facebook app and their LinkedIn app and all these other things that they do. So they're quite quick to turn their nose up at something that's a bit substandard. Now, if they pull it out of their pocket and don't find what they're looking for quickly or are a bit bamboozled by what they see, then it's going to go back in their pocket and they'll rely on the signage and they'll rely on something printed off in paper or they won't even bother at all. You know, one of the things that you'll, you'll find is that a lot of people are focused on the number of downloads that they get. Absolutely important. You've got 1,000 people at your event. Well, 700 people downloaded it. That's fabulous. But if 700 people downloaded it and used it once or twice on the first morning and never again, then the value is virtually worthless. Um, you know, one of the things that's much more important to discover is, you know, really not only how often was it used, but how was it used, because that's going to help you, you know, um, you know, really understand, you know, how to improve it and, 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 and how it helped people at the event. There are, there, are a, there are a number of sort of banana skins that can take place um, really with, with this sort of thing. I mean, you've got, you know, we're always very, very careful that only a kind of minimum of the functionality that we put onto our apps requires a Wi-Fi connection because we still regrettably live in a world where as, as events get large, you know, connectivity gets harder. You know, live polling or live interaction where suddenly you've got a focus of the event, what does everybody think, everybody pulls out their devices. If that, for example isn't easy to use. I was at an event the other day where in order to do the vote that was on the screen, I had to, everybody had to log into a different Wi-Fi arrangement there and then. And the, you know, the whole process probably took five minutes. And quite honestly, I don't think many people made it to the end of it. You know, and the best, the best events organizers, and let's be fair, you know, you only kind of learn that once and then you've got the hang of it, you know, are putting in place those sorts of, putting that bit of thought in place as to how that's integrated with their with their um, uh, event itself and making sure that the technology works, works correctly. But when you've got an event where, you know, part of the experience is making selections, um, it's, it's simply not always the best place to do that on the phone. Um, you know, part of our solution, which quite honestly is probably the single biggest thing that, that drives engagement, is that we have a fairly unified um, uh, user experience with what happens on the good old-fashioned desktop web before they come because if you're going to go through lots of information who's there how shall I manage my time arranging meetings what exhibitors am I going to see if it's an exhibition um, then you know great to have a nice big screen to do it people are familiar with that and what they're really taking in their pocket is not a catalogue of all these amazing things it's their agenda their time and and therefore you know the, the absolute of course, they can spend time to look stuff up, but the absolute experience is, 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 is far more, far more tailored um, in, you know, in that sense.